Ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Chikalepo, and the sofa is back again. You really can change the world if you care enough. Here on the sofa, we continue to save lives for free every week. Ladies and gentlemen, you are watching The Sofa, Season 1, Episode 3. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome back to the sofa. <laughs> uh, I'm joined in the studio by, uh, by somebody that I do not know actually. <laughs> he, he's, he's, he's not that famous. He's, are you famous? Who are you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. My name is Martin Moroki. Yes. <laughs> and I'm on the sofa. You are very much welcome. And I want to go very far with the sofa. Grato. Grato, grato, indeed, he likes to say that, right? Uh, renowned musician, number one music musician in the country. Uh, what happened to you? Yeah? <laughs> 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 I know, I'm, I'm, I'm officially a, a TV guy, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, of course, um, the accolades speak for themselves. Um, the, the, the man has them. Uh, you can never, uh, if, if, if Ronaldo has them or Messi has them, you have to, you have to understand that uh, Kylian Mbappe is still coming. Yes. <laughs> um, Morocco, uh, wel welcome to the sofa. Thank you, thank you very much, my brother. Thank you, thank you. Awesome. Uh, Give me the five. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, thank you, brother, for, 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 for coming here and for, how can I say, respecting our good TV show here that we have started, we have started here in the North Arisha Media Group. I understand you like to you like to build. That is uh, one thing that I'm very happy about when I see you. Uh, we are gonna we are gonna start with very simple. Um, I have a stream of questions here that I've uh, received when I asked um, the, the, the the big the big fan base of uh, from Shasho. Yeah, let's take the, 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 let yeah. me take the yeah. yeah. Let me take the questions. I hope they're not personal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What, what what would you like me to ask uh, Martin Moroki on, on the sofa today? Anything you want. To yeah. So, so the first question was, um, when you started your career in the early 2000s, the industry was all about this uh, bad boy image, you know, and sometimes you had to portray that persona in your music. Um, how has the pressure of living the life of you, you know, portraying, portraying in your arts uh, affected your mental health? As a, as a gangster image. <laughs> a gangster image. I think... Uh you see, um, when I was young, I used to to watch quite a, you know, quite a music videos, uh, hip hop music videos, um, and you know, hip hop music videos. Uh, my, my favorite artist is Tupac. Yeah, 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 that's how my I mean. favorite is Tupac, <laughs> and you see, he was very gangster. Uh, Fifty Cent is a gangster. Mm. Um, you know, as, as as you keep watching those videos, you know, you you start acting like them. But, but honestly, there was something about you in Mendoza that, that, that always clicked. Yeah, and, and I understand that you on, must perform at the show in Mendoza. Yeah, on, 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 on Kwaito mm -hmm. was my Mendoza mm -hmm. and, uh, and Zola and Mduma Selele. Yeah, um, if you see Zola, Zola's music videos, I'm all gangster. Mendoza's music uh, were gangsters, apparently they changed his image. Yeah, um, but the pressure that you're speaking about, uh, you know, um, uh, mental health, you know, people start associating what they see on on, 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 on TV, I think that's who you are. Um, it, you know, it, it drove me crazy because, you know, especially when you speak on mental, mental, health, mental health side, um, even my family didn't want to be associated with me because of music videos that I was doing. Um, I got chased out of the of the house. I only came to speak to my... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, no, it's things that I don't speak about, you see. Yeah, yeah. Um, they only came to speak to me after five years. Five mm -hmm. years after dropping out of university, focusing on music. Um, that's when they started speaking to me. You know, for me, I was like, why doesn't my family like me? Why doesn't you know, I'm doing these great things and all that? Mm -hmm. um, but luckily, you know, I kept uh, being strong, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, I didn't let uh, um, the, 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 the what you like to say, don't let the drugs and the other things get into your system. No, 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 I did, no, 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 I'm saying I didn't let um, yeah. what I was going through uh, take over me because for me I had a, a long vision. Yes. I didn't have only one just to say, you know, from here I might, I might drive if I fail, I'll try another one. Mm -hmm. I wanted to 
to go for long. You see, even when they chased me out of the house, it didn't affect my mental. Um, but I remember once some of the of you were like, I didn't do this to, to do drugs, you know, and do this. <laughs> yeah, and this. Uh, but yeah. that is a, such a beautiful message to me. So that's your song. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's your song. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that's the second time I killed you on the song. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that's going to come up. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. 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 But, but you know, mentally, um, mentally, I was struggling because, see, you know, the people that you're supposed to. Um, people that are supposed to, to, to motivate you, to keep not to motivate, to support you. Yes. Uh, they said this, and uh, you know, it, 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 it broke me down, but you know, I kept going. Here I am today. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's beautiful, man. I mean, uh, you've been in the game like for maybe uh, two decades right now. You know, your fans have grown, and they're yeah, more they, than your age. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, your friends have grown and they've changed along with you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, what mental adjustments um, have you had to make, you know, to remain relevant to the old fans and appeal to the new fans as well? Mm. If it's in terms of music, you know, uh, music changes all the time. Yes. You see, music changes all the time. If you see music that I used to do when I was 18, when I did Shimalo Satana, mm -hmm. uh, Take out your gun, and you see things that I'm doing now. One of my favorites, actually. You see, um, what I have to do is to follow what's happening. You know, what's uh, what's current. You see, in, in today's world, we're listening to Ama piano. Mm -hmm. We've got Ama piano now. We've got uh, we had uh, Afro beats. We, you know, you just have to to, 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 to give people want, uh, what they want to to, 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 to listen to. Um, if if it happens that. Uh, Kwasa Kwasa is taking over, yes. I can do it. But I wanted to ask you this one, listen. So do, do you think as we just change, when South African music changes, so we should also change like it and sound like them? What do you, what no, is no, it like? No, 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 you can. If, if you listen to, 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 to Mark Waito, mm -hmm. when I started, it's not the same as South African music. Yes. You know, it's, 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 my music that I do is not exactly the same. You see, no, there's one thing I respect about you is your sound. There's, a, there's always that violin. Yes. Uh, for, for me, I'm, I'm a type of guy that likes Melody. I'm a sweet guy. Ah, <laughs> you're, I mean, you're on the west I mean, side. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm Celine Dion, uh, Maria Carey, Bob Marley, uh, Lucky Dube. I mean, I like listening to songs that have got melody. If there's no melody, it doesn't make sense to me. Oh, there's a great song. You know, because songs that have melody, I mean, that don't have melody, they don't last long. It's, you know, it's just a train that comes through and it disappears. But melody, you keep it with you forever. If, if it can't touch the heart, it's not a classic. Yeah, it, 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 it keeps you forever. Yeah, why I remain relevant is adapt to what is happening. And also as an, as a, as a, as an artist, also in the clothing business, you know, it's, it's exactly the same. You need to, to do what, to be following what's happening that time, otherwise you'll be, you'll be behind. If, the, if it's skinny jeans, the, the trend is to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I, you see, in those days I remember when, I used to wear hips, and people were forcing me to wear skinny jeans. You know, I was like, nah, I'm not, never gonna wear that. And you see everybody. So, you see. <laughs> not to say that I follow trends. Uh, is the hips or is the, the, the yellow tracks? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the, yeah. no, the yellow tracks with this. The yellow tracks with this. You see, I'm, 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 I would say I'm happy with, with, with what I went through. You see, you see and, um, I, I see I touched the pulse there. No, 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 no. What is it? What is it with the yellow tricks? Why do you have you know, the yellow tricks? That, so no, I don't, I don't have it. You know, you know, everything that I went through made me. Mm -hmm. Everything that I went through, everything that was thrown at me made me. Yes. No, 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 I don't regret nothing uh, that I did in the past, whether me being a naughty kid, me being who I was. You know, it, it, it shaped the person who I am today. Uh, otherwise, I, I, I could it have been the dog or King Tidi. Yeah. You see, um, the other tracks with is, is, is you know when I was a children, people would laugh at me because it's the only thing that I had. People were driving nice cars, um, wearing, changing every time. I was only wearing that. You see, but today, the whole country is wearing shashu. And yesterday, we just won uh, um, uh, most favorable. What? The most admired brand in, 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 in Namibia. Oh, that's beautiful. You see, so all these things that people put me through gave me that. But I'm, I'm not angry, I'm just thankful. Yes. 
they say build your house or build something with the stones that they throw you. No, they're yes, going to throw you a stone, the put stones. it there, yeah, put yeah, some yeah. in on it, put it, put some in <laughs> up until you close them out. Mm, makes 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 a lot of sense yeah. indeed. Please yeah. keep throwing them at me. So that you can build the house. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, those are the words of uh, Moroki, the most uh, admired brand um, in, in the yeah, country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we did that, you know, maybe mm. on that one I just want to say maybe thanks to everybody that believed in the brand. Yes. Um, it's thanks to everybody that um, believe in, in, in the craft, everything that I've done. You see, um, I started the journey yes. of, 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 of my music. I didn't have any fame. Um, but the people out there made me who I am. Otherwise, you know, the people that support you, mm. respect them because you don't buy yourself. You just create the music and you create the, the products. Okay. You don't buy them yourself, they buy them. Thank you very much. And this Morocco is a very beautiful uh, brand indeed. And go, growing up with uh, with no parents, I understand how that is. Uh, I'm, I'm very proud of you personally. I mean, how, okay, how is growing from a young man, you know, to a family man, you know, affected you mentally and emotionally? And and what challenges do you experience with people's expectations of you while you balance being an entertainer, an entrepreneur, and a family man at the same time? No, it didn't affect me. You see, uh, I think of I had fame from a young age, you see. Uh, coming out of high school, uh, being at university, um, maintaining the fame. It didn't really affect me. I think I got used to it. You know, I got used to it. You know, um, being a family man, I think it's something that you, uh, everybody will go through one day in life, you see. It's something, one day, you know, for how, me. How are you as a family man? Tell, tell me, how do you wake up, you make a. Uh, What's your daughter's name? My daughter's come back here and what? <laughs> no, 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 me, 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 me and my kids, me and my kids, we, 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 we're good friends. Yes. We're good friends, we laugh, we, we do, because I don't spend much of my time at home. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, I spend much of my time either on the road or doing other stuff. Yeah, so when I get time, you know, especially dropping them at school and picking them up from school, <coughs> sorry, that's my time to, 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 to spend time with them, you see. Um, if I've got uh, time in the weekend, take them to the mall. Mm -hmm. You see, that's how I balance myself, you know, because I can't just be all the time with family. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a breadwinner. Yes. <laughs> I'm a breadwinner. So I've, 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 I've got to work for them, you see. It's, I think I've worked already my whole life for myself. So are you, are you grooming any of the children to take over the Mishashi breadwinner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's their brand, you see. Yes. It's, it's, it's their brand, you know, I've created it, they can take it further. It's, I, have to, I have to leave the legacy. Yeah, I've started it, they continue with it, yeah. They, 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 they work with me uh, every time, yeah. Before I continue to the next question, I, just mm -hmm. want, I always wanted to ask you personally, what are your favorite five tricks that you've done, like, when you, when, you, when you hear this song, you're like, God damn it, what, was this really me? <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> It's a, it's a lot of them, I mean, I'll say most of them, even the ones that uh, people don't listen to. Uh, it's because I spend time writing them, I spend time um, thinking of what to, to talk about. But the ones that stand out is um, Mama. Yes. Because you see, uh, it's a song, for, you know, I've, I've never really spent time with, uh, with my mother. And when I did that song, you know, a lot of people reminded themselves like, oh, I also don't have a parent, you know, and it was coming from somebody that they can relate to. Uh, it was that one, Mama. It was Baby Don't Go. Baby Don't Go took me two years to finish. 
Baby, don't go. Uh-huh. That's almost killing it because your, 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 <laughs> your instruments are so heavy. It's like um, a piece of a song. You feel like the guitar came from elbow, the, the, the drums came from Macorisa. You know no, 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 no. Mean? Baby, don't go. <laughs> Baby, don't go. I produce it myself. Nobody touch it. I touch oh. the piano myself. Oh. I touch uh, the drums myself. Uh, nobody touched that one. That one was created by me. I only went somebody to record. It took me two years because at that time I was busy plotting, you know, I didn't have a, a if, piano. If, if there's one thing I want to talk from my experience working with you is that you are a perfectionist and it can be quite frustrating. It's like working with Dr. Dre. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy is like, nah, 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 you know, you have to, the touch is, you know, and... And, they, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, I love that song also is, um, look, uh, the music that I started doing was more of gangster. And then um, for me to release a song which was a love song, I was afraid of people to to laugh at me like, oh no, it's, yeah, it's, 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 it's coming from from all this gangster song and yeah. and it's going on to this soft song. And you see, mm-hmm. luckily somebody stole my whole what mm-hmm. um, my finished album, the whole archive, the archive, and then release it, and that song became big. I was like, wow. <laughs> it was that one, uh, Mama, um, take out your gun. Because take out your gun, I've, I've, I've put my heart in, into it. Um, what are they? It's, it's more Is that total bit of Can you feel it? Because can you feel it also in the history? Can you feel it? 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 Um, history of it is, uh, I think I came from a car accident when I had a, uh, my first car. That gave me one car here. Um, I was with a Konjam Daka Daka. Yes, I <laughs> So. When we, when my car got written off, we had a bus, we went into one bus and then Cable started playing that song. Uh, I think it was a beat from another person, so I was like, no, I like that beat. You know, so all of us, me and, and, and Konja were like... Yeah. <laughs> no, Konja was like, no, he's the one that's going to get the beat. Yeah. <laughs> so for me, I was just quiet, you know, like I liked the beat so much because it's got so much nice, it's rich, melody, everything. So when I came... When we reached in window, flew to Europe, I came back, I called, just when I landed at the airport, I called cables. Did anybody pick up that beat? No, <laughs> nobody. I'm coming now. Yes. I'm coming from the airport. I'm coming now. I'm going to record it now. And when I came, can you feel it, what it is today? No, it's, 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 it's got history. But I've got most of the songs of mine, and, and one, one of my favorite is one that I did also with um, Konja. Uh, Dance, dance floor, floor. Yes. Oh, dance floor, uh, because that one. It's a club banger. Man. It's a club <laughs> banger, but also I was forcing myself on it because, yeah. like I said, you know me, I like uh, melodies. And that song doesn't have melodies, so I was struggling, my friend, in the studio, and, <laughs> and Konja was like, "Please, let's do it, let's do it, let's, let, let's do it, let's do it." You know, yeah. mm. it became big, you know, because most of my songs that I've mentioned, yes. I've, 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 um, I've put them just. Just when I finish, I put them out. Just the same day. That, that, the same day. That, oh, that is beautiful. I'll do that. Because, you know, it comes from the heart when you feel the song. It, it comes from the heart that this one will be big. It comes from your heart. And you know that like, every, every song I did, I took it out, I performed it the first day, the crowd goes, and mind of my mind. <laughs> Because, because why I mind my money, I sang it when uh, my daughter Unati got born. So instead of me going to the hospital, I just went into the studio and said, I want to sing this song and change my life. Focus on making the money, feed my family. I like that. Yes. Heart to heart. Yep. Mind on my money. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a gentleman, it is Martin Moroki on the sofa. Ooh, this is touching. This is very much. Afraid to ask questions yeah. what you want. Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so suppose you could go back to 2005. Mm-hmm. 
what advice can you give to your young self you know, on how to keep a positive mind and uh, how to make money for your arts, you know, business and for, for raising your family? But I don't think I'll, I'll, I'll advise myself. Like I said earlier, um, everything that I went through made me who I am, you understand? Know, it made me who I am. Um, the nice thing that when I, when I started, I didn't really, up until now, you know, I don't mix myself with a lot of friends. You know, I don't, I don't really, because I'll confuse myself. I'll confuse myself because everybody has something to say. Um, I don't think I'll want to advise myself because I think I took the greatest road that yes. myself could ever walk. You see, so I don't think I'll advise myself. Maybe I could just advise others. Um, yes. Just to to be positive all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's true. It's, it's, yeah. And also believe in your in your in your in your dreams. But the, 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 especially the ones that wanna do music. Um, education is important. Yes. And before getting the music, also read a little, make a, a bit of research on on on, on music. It's, it's not easy as you look when you see somebody's just on TV. It's not easy. That's, that, those are just pictures. Mm. You're speaking about mental. Yes. You see, um, it's going to drive you crazy when things are not going yeah, according okay. to how you want them to, to go. So if, uh, if you're going to advise somebody, a depressed kid, because we are mainly focusing on mental health, mm -hmm. and we, are, we, are, we want to save Namibian lives every week, you know what I mean? There's so, so much going on in the psychological state of mind of a person, you know what I mean? Um, can you please say, look into the camera and save some in Namibian's life today that wanted to commit suicide yesterday or that was about to commit suicide right now? I think, I think the best thing is, is, uh, is to share what you're going through um, with somebody. You know, either with your mom or person that you trust. You know, especially as boys or young boys, you know, you're afraid when you tell somebody. Uh, uh, and, 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 and we live in the world where people laugh at you when somebody takes, I mean, your car is repossessed. Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, somebody slept with your girlfriend. Um, somebody did this, you know, disappointed and you're afraid, you know, to tell somebody, look, look, uh, my car is repossessed mm. or my car is about to be repossessed. Yes. Can you help me with this? How much, you know, and you're afraid because as, uh, yeah, as we laugh at, at, at others, you know, people like laughing at others and like, uh, you know, you know, you, I trust you, that's what I'm telling you. Yes, I know. That's yeah. what I'm telling you. Rather than you helping me, you're going to tell the other person, you don't tell the other person, tell the other person. That's why people now, they, they, they are stuck with, uh, with what they're going through, they're not sharing it with anybody. I think the best way to do it is share it with somebody. If you, if, if you don't trust uh, that somebody, look for... For a profession, I think uh, at the hospital they've got uh, um, people that can, uh, you know, yes. therapists that can speak to you in, uh, at no cost, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. uh, but if you go to private, I think that's when you you you, you pay. Okay, and, uh, you are making me sad now. Okay, you mm -hmm. saved the person's life. Yeah. <laughs> the show is not about depressing them better, it's about No, I'm not depressing, but this is, yeah. this, is, <laughs> no, this, is, this is reality, you see? Yes. This is reality that we're mm -hmm. going through. This is what everybody's going through. Um, not only people that are watching, even somebody in your family you might not know. Yes. You understand? Know but why not? You created a platform so I can give the information out there. Exactly. You see, so we're not depressing them. Depressing is when now when you are when when you are no, no, you are no, going through <laughs> when you are, exactly you are depressed you know you, you will be at the bar drinking and you know every, the, all this all these things bottling inside you and you're supposed just to tell somebody okay. and uh, they could have given you okay if there's one last question that I need to ask what is your situation with Young T right now are you guys friends or what's up what happened what's my situation with Young T mm -hmm. at the moment now I haven't spoken to him for for a long time. I think the last time I spoke to him was last year, um, but and we're not close as we used to. You know things that they created yeah. also. You see, yeah. But I understand he was very big, very, very apologetic on Facebook, and you are like, just, you know, <laughs> you, are, you are you are very you, you like to be a thug. You know, it's just, it's no, no, I'm not a thug. You see, you <laughs> see, me, I like it when uh, we just spoke about if you're going through something, say it. Yes. You see, I don't think. 
I've created everything that you went through. Yes. You see, he could have come. I was his big brother. He could have come to me and said, Moroki, I'm going through this and what, what, And then, you see, I'm a listening person. You, you're exactly on the same show. Uh-huh. There's a lot of things that you did to me. I'm speaking to you. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, you were also doing rams on social media. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. We're speaking today. Yeah. You see. Um, he could have come yeah, to real me. Real gonna stand up and just. Yeah, nigga, the nigga. That was also shit, right? It was, it was men to men. You know what I mean? You see, <laughs> you see for me, I'm not a, a person that uh, holds grudges. You see, uh, what he went through, because I'm still trying to figure out. I also t- trying to understand him yes. uh, what he was going through. Uh, I think for me, I've went through so many things that none of any artist in Namibia have went through. Being sang about, being talked about, mm-hmm. being called who, I can't sing, I can't do what, I'm wasting my time, my clothing line have been shamed. If you're not ready for criticism, you're not no, 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 let me tell you. <laughs> that's where we, people differ because I'm not the person that give up. Yes. I'm not the person, if, if it was somebody could have given up, you know, if you go on social media and you, you put things that they put about me, yes. I don't give up, you know. Like I said, the stones that they throw at me, yes. I build with them. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm here today. I'm very proud and I'm changed to King Tidi. Glad to Merry Christmas. No, no, no. You have withstood the test of time. I'm very proud of you. This is very inspiring because I yeah. myself. So if they throw the stones, that keep throwing them so I can keep building. Yeah, uh, yeah, you, see, yeah. You, you, you see, you've got it's like, um, you know, when I, I think everybody went to school here. Yes. Everybody went to school. And you'll find somebody that was in, in your class that is reading too much. And it's just every time, you know, you find some people that are addicted to reading. When you are playing around, they're just reading and we, we'll laugh at them. Those people that we used to laugh at, now they are bosses. It's true. They are bosses. And us that we used to laugh, we are there at the back. You know what I'm saying? They didn't give up. You know, they were laughing at them. You know, they're just reading, reading. You see. I thought we had, we had the person like that in our class. And that guy is very big right now. <laughs> yeah. yes. So uh, I think you don't need to, to give up. If Young T was going through depression, um, let, let him look for, for, for professional help and he's a talented guy. Yeah. He's a great guy, he's a talented guy. And um, yeah. yeah we'll and hang with the right people. Absolutely. So the, the crowd one, that yeah. you choose is who you become. Yes. We'll be glad to have him on the sofa as well, guys. Mm-hmm. Anyways, um, let us uh, go forward. Uh, we, uh, we understand that uh, you've got a very, very, very big show that you always host at uh, the University of Namibia State. 20,000. None have done that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not breaking his pants. <laughs> Twenty thousand is a big number, indeed. Yeah. That, that is, of course, um, the capacity crowd of uh, of the stadium that they uh, that they perform the whiskeys and uh, and the banner boys. Um, yeah. It's called what? It's uh, it's in London actually. It's called the O2, yeah. the O2 Plaza. Um, such such a big fan base that you have, my brother. I'm so jealous right now. I wish I knew go with. <laughs> if if you're jealous, that's great. But uh, yeah. the jealousy that it's a I want, jealous. the je- I want to say the jealousy that you should have is a positive jealousy. You know, because for me, I'm also inspired. You know, when I started the clothing line, I was in, inspired by Jay Z, Rockaway, yes. um, PDD, uh, Sean John, um, uh, Fifty Cent, um, G Unit. You see, I was like, oh, I want to also start with mine, you see, you know, I was je- that jealous that I had was yes. positive, you see, like, mm-hmm. one day I'm going to create this. And, and, and that, that, I think, is a message that I want you to give to the people right now. You know, be, want, want to be like that and, and probably even be better, but not in a, in a negative manner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the, you, you need to have a positive uh, mindset. Mm-hmm. A mindset, you know, when somebody, it's like in class, it's like exactly in class. When somebody's number one, for sure you're jealous. Why is he always number one? <laughs> yeah. Why is he, because he's reading all the time. You know, the only thing that you can do also just to be number one is to do what they're doing. Yes. You know, is to do what they're doing. Practice, uh, do research, uh, put in the work. You can't just expect to just to do. <laughs> Let's say we've got uh, Mboma. Yes. She put in the work. Exactly. She put in the work for her to be number one. So you can't just start today and wanting to beat her out because she she's been doing it for years and and, and 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 if you're in the music business, market yourself well instead of using social media for dumb for dumb things. Put put put, 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 put proper stuff uh, on there, you know, because you are your own brand. The companies are watching you. Can you pick your brain there on, uh, on you know this positive mindset that you have? 
it's, it's, it's so beautiful, you know. I mean, how do you wake up and face your day and, you know, keep going every day stronger and stronger and stronger, you know what I mean? Irregardless of the fact that every day comes with its challenges. I like challenging myself, you know. I like challenging what I did yesterday. Uh, so you said goals like SB owner and like I look forward to. You see, you see the SB. You see how I started with the with, with the owner music festival. When I was changing my my name to King Tidi. People couldn't understand, you know. Um, when I said I'm retiring, I didn't say I'm retiring from music. I'm retiring the name, the dog, so that I get a new one. And the new one, I gave it on 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 on, on, on the second one. It's still at Unam Stadium. You see, when I was giving all these ideas, I think I remember last time sitting with Tate Buti. Tate Buti had a, a place just opposite uh, Unam. I mean, uh, no, opposite um, Semnyoma Stadium. He had a, a bar thing there. So that day I came, it was the 26th of, of, of September, uh, not 26th of December 2017, when I said, look, I want to fill up that stadium. You know, everybody on the table were like, ah, you're lying, maybe take it to Rundu, <laughs> yeah. ah, take it to Wato, maybe take it to Wato. I'm like, look, I want this one. No, let's... When they said no, they don't... For me, uh, 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 I get into, into gear number one. When you tell me I can't do it. If I say today I want to wait, Jay-Z, when I meet Jay-Z, I'll meet him. If, if you can't do it, it can't be done. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. Yes. You see, it's... it's, it's yeah. I think everybody, everybody was born great. You also don't want your brother to have penile cancer, all this, you know, you only have one penis. Yes. So once it's gone, it's gone. God, God, we need to get the hell off this <laughs> <laughs> No, it's medical term, yeah. it's a penis, yes. So such, an, penis. such an intelligent man with, yes. with, with very wise words. Um, Martin Moroki, thank you for coming to the sofa, man. God bless you and uh, Hope I didn't the future speak too much. endeavors. <laughs> <laughs> everything was good, everything was positive. I personally have learned a lot. I'm sure that the viewer out there have learned a lot. Um, next up is our is, is top cherry performing. Uh, would, can you do us the honors of just introducing our boys and just say, "Yo, top cherry, welcome to the sofa." And uh, please go ahead, <laughs> guys. Do you know what? <laughs> do you know what? What? Do you know top cherry? <laughs> what? What? Yeah, bro. She's our next uh, performer here on the sofa, and um, it's one talented lady. Um, Great heart, great spirit. I've never seen her angry. Um, she's just too cool. Watch now. What I 
Graphics, we are dedicated to delivering you the best services. We can help you catch attention. We are experts in graphic design, logo design, branding, business cards, brochure, letterhead, invitation cards, posters, banners, flyers, and much more printing, as well as motion graphics, 2D animations, marketing, and advertising. Call us for all your design needs. Ibiman Graphics. We are the best at this. Oof, my days. Sounds of Danny coming from a top cherry. A world winning artist. You know, in her own right, she's goddamn gold. <laughs> Doesn't need anybody. <laughs> so, what are you doing? What do you think? How are you? Oof, my days look stunning. Thank you. Oh, good this. I try to always, you yeah. know, look presentable. Yeah. So. <laughs> You've got this one that got me kicking. Oh. <laughs> no, man, internationally and locally. Um, her name is Monica Pinius. Such an, an awesome personality. A, a very good friend of mine, personally. Um, Monica, welcome to the sofa. Thank you. I am finally, finally on the sofa. The very famous sofa. Yeah. I'm, I'm oh, really oh, glad to be How did you feel like you were invited to the sofa? I was like, oh my god, because I've been looking, you know, I'm yeah. a fan, I'm a fan by the way. Oh my god. Mr. Is... David, yeah. I'm a big fan yeah. of this, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, so you when I got the invite, I was like, oh yes, mm. let's do it. You know? Awesome, awesome, awesome. Always positive minded. Such such a beautiful soul, such a beautiful spirit. Uh, my lady, um, it, you, you, you touched me here and there once in a while, you know, personally. I feel like, um, you know, uh, the, the woman in the industry, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's a bit topsy there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. the, the situation is a bit um, indifferent, you know, when it comes to women, when it comes to men. It's, it's, it's the same everywhere in the whole yeah. uh, in the whole uh, business or, or worldwide endeavors on, on their own. Mm -hmm. But I'd like to ask you one question that, uh, that your friends asked me to ask you here. Mm -hmm. um, how does the pressure of the entertainment industry you know, affect uh, the mental health of the average female entertainer in an environment mm -hmm. that is designed to look more at their physical condition than their intellectual capability and talents? Mm -hmm. Well, I can't speak for the average, you know, because... I mean, I've, you are good. <laughs> I've, I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, the numbers do not lie. She's, she's the most followed uh, female musician in, in the country. The number one you said female, that. female you artist. Said that. Let my lady, please. Uh, um, um, yes, it's true, you know. What you said, like, it's, it's, it's a male-dominated industry, you know. First of all, when you are a woman, you are expected to follow, you know. You're expected to wait until the guys do it, until the big boys do it, and then the rest of us follow, you know. But um, I think with me from the get-go, when I started, it was a thing of, I'm not, I'm not here for, for anybody, you know. I'm here for me, I know what I'm doing, I know why I started, and that's why I'm doing this, mm. you know. But 
I guess really for for a lot of people, I speak for a lot of females that I know, a lot of females, a lot of us wait for the validation of the next person. You know, you you are waiting for exit to say, oh yes, they stop cherry for you to feel like, okay, okay, I can do this. Yes. You know, mm -hmm. and and unfortunately, out here, like everybody is doing their thing for them because it's a bus that they need to go, you know. So I'm not gonna wait for me to say, oh, oh my God, Exit, you're the guy, you know. Because Exit is busy doing his own thing, Yet this, you know. Those Rebecca Malone, those uh, yeah. Brenda Fassi shoes. Brenda but, Fassi, but, like, when, when you arrive, you know, and I don't like to, to blow my own whistle or whatever, yeah. Yeah. but when I arrive somewhere, people need to know that, oh my God, she's here, yes, you know. Finally. And that's how you show that, yes, you know? Yeah, because you, and, and how does it feel right now, you know? You, you are performing last, you know, the boys start, you know, the, 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 how, how bossy does it make you feel? <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I, I actually didn't know it's a thing, hey, mm -hmm. where oh, the, the person that performs last is because the big dog. This, this guy thing of, you know, the big dog is yeah, the last, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we are like, yeah, nah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I mean, how, 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 how yeah. do you feel now, personally, you know, to, to, have, to have finally got the opportunity to be closing an event, you know, like you are now the ish as a female, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I, I just want to know your personal feelings. Are you in jubilation? <laughs> <laughs> Am I in jubilation? <laughs> yeah, ne? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's 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 an amazing feeling you know but i i don't know for me i guess that's not the end goal yes. you know for me that's not the end goal to you know because i see a lot of guys backstage you know and it's a real fight you know no i want to perform last i want to you know because for me it's about that very moment when i get onto that stage whether i have six people looking at me whether i have a hundred people looking or i have ten thousand looking you know for me it's about that very moment when i'm on that very stage that that intimate something between me and my audience, yes. you know? So I try to not make it a thing of, okay, I'm performing last, you know? I, and then your balls are hanging down here, yeah. you know? But <laughs> yeah. I just really like to make it as authentic as possible between me, my audience, and just... It is, there's one thing I love about you, you are an intellectual, you know? Mm -hmm. You have written books, mm -hmm. um, you have been in the media, uh, you know? You are like a media studies student, you know, because you have worked for the papers as well. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You are, what can I say? You, <laughs> you are a distinguished female. Uh, can you please uh, brief us on, on what kind of encyclopedia, on what inspires you, what kind of books are you reading nowadays? Ah, Sir David. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just feel like I need to call you Sir David. Oh my days. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment, uh, temporarily. <laughs> well, um... Mm. First and foremost, ever since I was a little girl, you know, I was always that person that would want to express, you know, and, and when you want to express, it's, and it's, it's so, it's, it's so intimate that, that the next person might not, you know, always understand. And sometimes even me, myself, I don't, I don't get it, you know, because I will be in front of the PC and I'm typing and before I wake up, I'm on chapter five and I ask myself like, what? How did I get here? You know? Are you the kind of girl that cries when the movie is so emotional? Because, uh, you know what I mean? Because emotion, you know, there's something about artists when, yeah. when, you, when you are so emotionally, when you're so artistic, yeah. you're attached emotionally. Are you that yeah. kind of person? Would you lose a tear for a Titanic movie perhaps? I think, I think if I say, I think the audience will judge me because I, I, I really feel like a lot of my fans, a lot of my fans yeah. feel like, yo, like I'm very glam, you know, I'm very G, like I don't cry, <laughs> I don't cry. Oh my gosh. But no, no, yeah, like I, I, I drop a few tears mm. like here, there, you know. Yeah, because I'm definitely but the kind yes. of guy that loses like, tears. When, you know, you know when, when art is done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah true that. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. God, my gosh. You're watching this sofa. <laughs> the top chair, a.k.a. Monica Pinas. Uh -huh. uh, my lady, what can young girls do to protect their pride and dignity whilst, you know, while trying to, 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 make, to make it in their careers? You know what I mean? I'm, I repeat, what can young girls do to protect their pride? and dignity mm -hmm. while trying to make it in their careers, especially in schools, in university, and also in the workplace? 
I, I always say, ne, what you begin with is, yes. is what we will always know you for. Yes. There was a few years I met this girl and she told me, you know, you know, I, I have this dream, I want to sing, I want to... And I told her, first of all, if you want to be a musician, and you, within yourself, you believe that you are a star, yes. you know? I'm telling you, do what you have to do to get the money. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I told her to get the money, yes. to pay a producer to record a song for you. Yes. And I repeat, I told her, do what you have to do to mm -hmm. get the finances mm -hmm. to do the song, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I always emphasize on that because a lot of our little girls, a lot of pretty girls mm -hmm. come in the industry and feel, I'm so pretty, I'm mm -hmm. so hot, yes. you know? I can give Exit a wink, you know, and I have a free <laughs> yeah. feature, yeah, exactly. you know? I can, I can call who mm -hmm. producer and say like, no, can I come through and, you know, I come there and I'm wearing this and I can get a free beat. Yes. And unfortunately, if that's how you are going to start, how long are you going to be going to rub and yes. to wing mm. for you to, you know? To, to, to but climb that ladder. Yes. Mm. And that's how and where you lose yourself as a woman because later on, everybody in the studios, they're like, ah, name mm. and that girl. See, you know? Yes. But the minute when you start and you say, hi, Mr. What's Andrew that? on the beat, <laughs> this is me, this is my $2,000, let's work. Typical, don't Even the way he works with you, he's going to work with you with so much respect yes. and authority because the way you walked into that studio, mm -hmm. you say, I'm a superstar and I'm a businesswoman and I'm here for business. My girl, I like you that. know, because tomorrow now, people are not booking you because of, of, they... They are booking the, the body. <laughs> My days. Okay, cool. You know, uh. so when you start, you yes. know, start with authority and say, I'm a woman, I'm a boss, mm -hmm. and this is business for me yes, and nothing else. Yes, for yes. me, I'm not gonna lie to you, I will not come backstage at a show and some event promoter is trying to touch at me or whatever, yes, yes, because yes. they know with this girl, mm -hmm. you don't play with that girl like that. No, no, no touchy, touchy. You don't play with that girl like that. Don't tell you what you want. understood that part it was a it, 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 it's so touching you know what I mean um, yeah. because there's there's so many female musicians out there that really want to make it but they end up in and in, in the in the wrong beds in the wrong studios at the yeah. wrong time you know what I mean because uh, um, because they're perplexed to, to, to want to achieve mm -hmm. so much you know what I mean um, and the end I've heard you, my lady. Um, I would like to continue um, from, from from a mentality you know, perspective because mm -hmm. we have more we are mostly focusing on mental health issues yeah. here on the sofa. Um, how have you transitioned, you know, between three careers from being a writer, you know, to, to becoming an actress? Ooh, and I love your your acting part in that that take a lot of uh, uh, uh -huh. movie there. Yeah. I was like, God damn it, this, this, <laughs> this, this, this is definitely boss me. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and a musician at the same time. Um, um, I think it's, it's, that's one book and it's just different chapters of one book, you know. Basically, I'm, I'm just a creative that has different segments of being a creative. What do you think of book though? Mm -hmm. t t tell me about it. What, what, what is it? What, what, what is, you know, like, 
um, sex, money, and love, and all these others. God love, damn it, sex, Monica. And flight tickets. Love, sex, and flight tickets. Yeah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, what the hell is wrong with you, man? <laughs> well, well, first of all, what, what I wrote, what I write is called, or I call it rather soft, you know, soft porn. Like, it's, mm. it's you know, I, I, there's... Can you, can you say that again? <laughs> okay, baby, let's continue. That. There's, I know, like, in, in, in our era, you know, I know, I, I like to call it the Hage era, you know, we, we are very into the internet, you know, into the... So if you are going to step out and say, I'm going to make people write, read, you know, you really need to make it a capturing topic. And what more is capturing than having someone on the pages, literally, and then what happened? Oh my God. And then, you know, so for me, when I write a book, it's just me having a vision, telling a story, creating something within my hand. It's almost the same thing like when you when you are writing, you yes. know, when you are writing a song, yeah. you are telling a story in your head and that's how you, you go about it, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> it's just it's just basically creating. It's just me creating, creating. And I love the fact that it is so truthful because I was just talking to a, to a movie producer once. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He was the content. You know what I mean? If 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 a guy is taking a line, he has to take the line on television so that people see that he's really doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It it's, it is that scenario that is so truthful that that we need to stop hiding from the youth. Yeah. Because the youth already understands. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the youth are more interested in watching the truth mm -hmm. than any other. You know. Uh, yeah. Mm. But uh, the question was. Um, how how, uh, how have you transitioned between three careers from being a writer to becoming an actress and a musician? Like the transition from A to B to C, yeah, you that, know what I mean? The chronology of events in a projective lifetime. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. There isn't like necessarily a, a point where I'm able to say the transition was like this because it's it's one book, you mm -hmm. know. It's it's I'm I'm just a creative. You know, I wouldn't want to say that, no, me, I'm an actress. No, I'm not an actress. I'm a creative. Yes. You know, even when I'm acting, it's, it's, it's a person that I'm creating with, out of myself. So I am creating throughout. I just change gears and say, which are, okay, now I'm writing books. Okay, whoa, now I'm going to sing a song. Oh, here I'm going to oh, do some okay. acting, you know? You don't limit yourself. Yeah. You're like, now I'm doing a song, now I'm going to be the, the, the TV host. Yeah, I can wake up tomorrow and decide, you know what? <laughs> give me a pen, give me some some painting brushes, because yes. I'm going to be a painter now, and I'm going to sell this artwork, and that's what it's going to be, you know? Mm. That's just what it is. And you guys are going to hang this artwork <laughs> in this wall because I'm a painter, and that's period. Oh, my <laughs> okay, okay. Uh -huh. that, that is beautiful. Picasso on the on the canvas, indeed. <laughs> okay, um, my lady, um, what lessons have you learned um, from your own experience, you know, as a female musician, as, mm -hmm. a, as, as, as a female actress, as a female writer, or, you know, let me put it under the compass, as a female, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and, and how would you advise you know, the, this, these young girls who want to make careers and study changes. Because remember now, you are the leader of the female gang, so you have got to talk to them right now. Yo, you are using so many dangerous <laughs> phrases. So many dangerous phrases. Yes. Um, I think one of my greatest lessons that I've learned since, since I started my arts and creating a career will probably have to be stand your ground. Yes, I like that. Stand your ground in terms of if you say this is me, this is what I'm gonna do, you know, because with our industry it's so easy for people to turn around and decide and tell you who you are. Exactly. I'm telling you, so many people have lost it because mm -hmm. they started listening to people telling them who they are. Ah, I love that. You know? And then later you forget yourself because you are so consumed in being this person that mm -hmm. everybody is so obsessed with painting you to be. Yes. By the time you open your eyes, you don't even know yourself anymore because mm. you are so consumed by being a person that you are not, by being this fake person that you are being forced to be. Exactly. So honestly, my biggest, before anything else, stand your ground. Stand your ground. 
You, you look like a warrior today. What is it? <laughs> you really want to save this, uh, the, 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 this female generation? Uh, yeah, I'm a girl child uh, hero. Yeah? I'm a girl child hero and I'm so passionate uh, about that. Like, be, be, before I ask you my last question, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not going to let you go without touching base on, 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 on gender-based violence, on female abuse, mm -hmm. on, uh, on how the female is perceived by a male. Let me say you are in an office and you are female, you know, just looking at that, you know, looking at that, you know. Um, I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. um, how can we help uh, females that are going through uh, things at the offices where a male is a boss and this, you know what I mean? If, mm -hmm. For you to get promoted, for you to what, what, you know. Mm -hmm. Is it still the same? Uh, well, well, I think... Because this person really needs a job. Yeah. And, and I'm the boss. Mm -hmm. uh, how like your boy? Like, what we need to fix, what we need to fix is that. The question is saying, how do we help women when they are bosses at work is trying to sexually harass them, basically that's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. This woman doesn't need help. Who needs the help? She wants that job. This boss, the, the, the boss is the one that can This do her boss her. needs help. No? This <laughs> boss needs help. Because why are you trying to use a way that is without the rules and the ways of the office to try and get someone into a position? The, the minute that I have to think, oh my goodness, my skirt is not short enough for me to get this job. Already there's something wrong with the whole process. <laughs> You know, so it's not the female that needs to get help. That's why right now I'm on a campaign, yeah? I'm on a campaign where I'm going school to school, empowering the girl child. Like that. But that I emphasize that it is necessary for us to also have a male who is empowering who? The boy child. Because what is the use of empowering the girl child when we are sending her back into society mm. where there is a boy child who is not empowered? Damn it. You get what I mean? You so, know? So I think we need to start with the mindset of the men. Yes. Change your mindset. Men, like, and that's just on period. Like, men just need to, they, they need to stop using their pens within the office spaces <laughs> where yes. it's not okay. have to be within the industries that they don't need to be in. So it's a traditional norm that, you know... Um, We've normalized it, which is yeah. wrong. We cannot yeah. normalize nonsense like that of CVs going under the table depending on how short your skirt is <laughs> and what not. Oh my God. If the <laughs> position is asking for the bachelor in arts and degree and the what, then let's look at the people who have the bachelor of arts and the what. Why are we looking at, oh my goodness, if that girl starts to walk yeah. here and then I'ma get some every other Tuesday. My days, women empowerment indeed. Men, watch out. Yeah. <laughs> the women are here to take their spot. She has the qualifications. Why do you have to take her spot? My lady, we do have a, a situation here mm -hmm. uh, where um, people are taking their lives um, on, 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 on a weekly basis, on a daily basis, mm -hmm. on an hourly basis, or on a minute basis, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, my lady, um, People are depressed. And uh, we would like you to look into that camera, right there, or right there, and uh, save that person right now. Save, save that person's life, because on the sofa we are saving lives every week. I want you to tell that depressed mindset who believes that ridding him or herself of this burden of life is the best direction to choose. My lady. I like your boy. <laughs> mm. 
give it another chance give it another chance give it another hour give it another day call someone talk to someone just give it another chance but I can't. Why should I have to do this again? Life is too hard on me, man. I'm tired of these things. I'm tired of these gangsters, man. You know what I mean? What? Talk to me. Tell the person to say, I'm about, the string is right here. I just need to put my head into it and get out of it because apparently I'm not liking my job. I'm not liking my marriage. I'm not liking the life that I'm living. Let me just get rid of it. Save my life right now. No, but like, I, like, that's what I said, like, just give it another chance. Like, it's so hard. That's what I, I, I that's what I, I, I'm so skeptical about diving into, into mental health just like that because it's so skeptical. Like, we, we love to go about mental health like it's one egg that, no, it's like, it's different from person to person. Like, yes, absolutely. Yeah, there are some people who, this person doesn't even have a rope. Yes. Mind you, this person is at the party. This is... The person who's having the most fun in the party and we are all saying to this person sharp right check you more sharp nah. and, 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 but that person goes into there and commits suicide immediately and, like, that, and that's what i was trying to say on, on i think i was on radio when i was being asked because people believe that it's it's either you know you have a disease like hiv and aids mm -hmm. you you have a corona you have what you know what i mean the stigma is already there mm -hmm. but I, everything leads down to depression yeah. as far as i'm concerned because you feel like I cannot go out there because I have HIV and AIDS. I cannot mm -hmm. go into public because I want to. You understand? Mm -hmm. Everything leads to depression. The biggest disease is depression. Mm -hmm. are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we, are we a hundred on that? But yeah. <laughs> like, you're... The stigma in society. Can, can I really go there if I have corona? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, there was a time when corona was really heavy. True. It was like, why? True. And to be honest, I personally was like, I wouldn't have no corona in the apple and yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That must be so messed stuff. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, Monica, perhaps any last words just to save lives out there. Um it can be on anything because I understand you're already saving uh, the, the kids with with exactly what you're talking about. You, you are giving them pets mm -hmm. in schools, you know what I mean? Because yeah. you cannot just sit up on your chair in your class and then it's a red pants, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That you, you you touch all those grounds and then uh, tell, tell us. Yeah, so um, what what I'm doing throughout the country is basically insisting on the girl child to stay in school because like it's 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 very important for me and for my future daughter and for your daughters yes. and for everyone's daughters that the future of our country needs to be very very female led it needs to be very female orientated because as you can see right now where we are the girl child in this country we are literally completely on our own so look at 10 years from now having approximately 60 percent of the the advocates being female of the lawyers being female the 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 ministers being female having majority female in positions for women to have some sort of power and, and level of positioning in this country. Because mm -hmm. right now, whoop, I love, we are really I love, I love your mental strength. Because the way I'm looking at it is like, you know, if a person, let me say for instance, is, is bloody in class, mm -hmm. and then the, the whole class goes on, mm -hmm. I think this is where the low self-esteem comes in, and then mm -hmm. that keeps haunting you. Your past keeps daunting. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. And then it, you lose that self Confidence. Yeah. Mm. But also like a, a honest matter is our like you know how much is a pad, a packet of pad? Yeah. A packet of pad is let's say fifty dollars. And when we are talking about someone who is in the village deep in Kurekuru, we are talking about someone who is in the village deep in the north, yeah. you know. I have been to most of the schools, most of these villages, and you will be so, you will cry tears because these kids wear a sock. You know, these socks that we wear. Oh my days. She'll like, wear a sock between her oh. legs as a pet. And with that thing between her legs, she has to walk oh. to go collect water. Huh? With that sock between her legs, she has to go collect wood and then still come back and cook, you know. That is why that that is why I'm pushing a national agenda for everyone to do their part in helping, you know, 
Mm-hmm. Buy sanitary pads. When you get into a shop and you have that extra hundred dollar, just buy that pad and give it to the kids by the neighbors that you know are really not doing well because it's really hard as a woman. Like menstrual poverty is so so serious, you know. Mm-hmm. God bless you, child. God bless you, child. Mm-hmm. I understand this. And you know, for one that has daughters, it's oof, my days. Yeah. It's really, really uh, hard no, no, to no. see. Mm-hmm. It's really, really very hard I will, to see. I'm, I'm, I'm urging the government to assist you, mm-hmm. uh, pro bono, you know, mm-hmm. going forward in this uh, very beautiful endeavor of uh, helping and saving Namibian lives. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say Why did God, now you got me all soft enough. I'm, it's just Christ of Nazareth. Yeah. So this is really happening out there. Yeah. It's sock. Yeah. It's, it's really, really, and these kids have the scars there, mind you, they have oh, the scars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Monica Pinas, aka Top Cherry. Follow her on Facebook, follow her on Instagram, follow her on Twitter. This was another episode of The Sofa. Please take the camera out of my face. I know that I know Hello Namibia, I'm Ami Ajesa, Matale Chofa. I'm a scholar of 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 Chofa. Hello, hello, my people. You know who you're watching, right? This is King Teddy. See you on the 23rd to the 25th of September at Tunam Stadium. It's the 09 festival, baby. 20,000 people that we need in that stadium. One of you is you that's watching. You're watching the sofa. I love you.